So let's just see what the question says. All right. So in this question, uh, we have been given an L-shaped rod, which is of uniform mass density. And the length AB and BC are equal, which means they are of the same mass. So if I say the mass of this is M, then this would be M as well. And we need to find the tangent of this theta, which the vertical, which the rods, uh, the, the phase, the length AB makes with the vertical of the rod. We need to find the tangent of that theta. All right, so let's just move on to the solving part of it. So the concept that we'll be needing in this question is a simple fact that the center of gravity of the system of uh, basically, which is basically this L-shaped rod, this must pass through this vertical line, which is passing through the hinge, uh, which is like carrying this uh, the system. So the reason why it should be passing through the passing through this vertical line is if let's say the center of mass or the center of gravity was not passing through this vertical line like in this situation then in that case this l-shaped rod right this would have like an anti anti-clockwise torque which is basically a non-zero torque and it would tend to go back to its equilibrium position which is when the mg is in is along this vertical and hence this kind of situation is not possible if the um, if the system is in equilibrium for the system to be in equilibrium the torque about this hinge this has to be zero which means like the mg must pass through this vertical line right so after after understanding that part then this question is just about making a decent diagram so we'll be using this fact for solving this question which most of you might already be familiar with so if there are like two point masses which is located at let's say x1 and x2 which are their x coordinates basically and the masses are m1 and m2 then we can find the center of mass the coordinate of the x center of mass by simply uh, using this formula which is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2 which most of you will be familiar with all right now in in this question, what the basic crux of solving this problem is, we're going to break this rod and this rod as two independent bodies. And we're going to place the mass of this entire body. I have assumed that it has a mass of m by 2. Uh, it will be m by 2 because these two rods are of the same length, which means they have the same mass. And the total mass of the system, I have assumed to be m, which means this mass should be m by 2. And I have kept it at the center of mass of AB, uh, which is actually at the centroid, right? And that is at D. And similarly for BC, I have kept the M by 2 at F. All right. So now we're going to consider both of these as two point masses to make our solution much easier. All right. So now if we consider this to be our axes, right? These to be our X and Y axis. So our y-axis is vertically downwards and our x-axis is horizontally leftwards, right? So in that case, as I've told you in the previous slide, that the net, I mean, not the net, the center of mass of the system, this must pass through this vertical line, namely y-axis, as in our case, right? Which means there is no component of the center of, the position vector of the center of mass along the x-direction, right? So we can just say that the x component of the center of mass is zero. I hope you all understood that. So moving forward. So if we say the x component of center of mass as zero, we just need to use this formula now. All right, so m1, as in this case, I've taken it to be this m by two mass. So the x coordinate of this mass from our axes is d in this case, right? So that's why I have written m by two times d for the first m1 x1 part. Now, the second mass is just this m by two. And this is the slightly trickier part. So the x coordinate of this center of mass from our axis is fg, right? Now, in order to find fg, we need to play with some triangles. So we need to find bh and we need to subtract bf cos theta from it. So bh is this bigger distance 
and we need to subtract the horizontal component of BF from that. So if we subtract the bigger from the smaller, right? I mean, the smaller from the bigger, we'll get this distance, FG. So, so now BH is pretty easy to find. This is gonna be this, if you look at this triangle, ABH, it's, it's basically gonna be L times sine theta, right? That's what BH is gonna be. So that's why BH is L sine theta. Now, next is the horizontal component of BF, which is BF cos theta, right? BF cos theta. Now, BH, I have like written it specifically here for you guys to understand. Now, BH is gonna be L sine theta and BF cos theta is gonna be L by two cos theta. Now, once you have done that, just plug in the values to get the answer of tan theta as one by three. So it was a decent problem. So tell me what you guys thought about a problem. And this is my first video on YouTube. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.